how I infuse my thyme, my rosemary, and my orange peel. Kendall's quarter. Today we are going to make two types of infused oil. We are going to make a rosemary infused oil and then we are going to use thyme and infuse some oil. If I have extra time, I would like to make an orange peel infused oil. So let's get cracking. Click the bell for new video. Thyme, rosemary, my dried orange peel. Let's get started. To my preheating pan, I'm adding one cup of corn oil and I'm adding a good amount of thyme. Add to your desired preference. And once it has infused oil to my satisfaction and it's cooled, I'm going to place some of the thyme in the bottle and then I am going to add oil. You can infuse it for up to a minute, but don't let whatever herb or citrus you're using start to burn. And this is how easy I made my thyme infused oil. You don't necessarily need to use the thyme in the oil. You can just omit that completely, but I am just adding it into the bottle so you can continue to infuse the oil. You could use the only source of infusion when you are putting it on the fire. So you don't necessarily have to do this or you could not do it that way you can just make sure that you wash your thyme properly make sure it is dried and put it in your oil and put it on a window ledge or anywhere that has sun and you can infuse your oil that way all right but i am doing it this way and so now let's get on to another oil we are going to make which is my rosemary infused oil let's get started Again, it's basically the same process. You don't want to leave it in there too long for it to start to burn. So I'm going to remove it. And again, do the same thing and add my herb, my herbs to my container and then add the oil. As I said, you can omit adding it to the container because the oil is properly well infused. Infused and um, so you don't really need to add it to the bottle that you're storing your oil in but it will just add an extra amount of infusion as it remains in the oil and that's how we made this rosemary oil same process as the thyme and now we are going to move on to the orange peel oil let's get cracking Again, same process, but I am adding a good amount of orange peel because I want to use this to marinate some chicken I'm going to barbecue. So I am going to add a whole lot of orange peel to this. And I add again some to my bottle once it is finished and I'm going to place in a container. And again, I'm going to use this. This oil is really strong because I added a lot of orange peel because I want to use this for some barbecue and for a tomato salad and I was also thinking to grill some lamb so yes that's what I'm going to use this oil to do so let me continue so there we have our three oils first we made the thyme then I made the rosemary and lastly I made the orange peel as I said all these oils doesn't necessarily need to go on the fire you can put them once you clean what you're going to use properly and they're dry you can place them in the oil and place them on your window ledge or outside some sun 
and you can do it that way instead of heating it up to infuse the oil and you don't necessarily need to add any of the herbs or citrus into the oil you cannot miss that part extra infusing it in the heat alone could be enough so but you know you could add it into the oil for it to continue to infuse the oil so i do hope you enjoy watching this rather quick oil demonstration easy ways to create your own little things at home instead of running to the supermarket all right and these oil would be used in marinating my meat or in salads that is how these oils would be used i use in each one i use a cup of oil and you can use how much of the herbs or the citrus you prefer in it it will depend on how strong it would be if you use a little bit it wouldn't be too strong it would be just right if you use a lot it would be very strong so it all depends on how strong you want that infused oil to be so thanks for watching this very quick demonstration of how i infuse my thyme my rosemary and my orange peel do have an awesome day thanks for watching ken this corner bye when i get back i will do an unboxing